Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Hanji once again and I will be teaching you on how to solve quadratic equation by factoring in this video. For our objective, yes, we are going to apply the zero product property in solving quadratic equation by factoring. But before that, what is zero product property? Okay. Zero product property states that for any real number, A and B, if A and B is equal to zero, then either A is equal to zero or B is equal to zero. But before we do the zero product property or applying the zero product property, let us have first the factors of the following numbers. Naalala nyo po ba yung factors? Pag sinabing factors, we are looking for a two number that when you multiply, the product will be equal to positive 12, for example. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga number na pwede mong i-multiply na ang kalalabasan ay equal kay positive 12? Yes, let's start with 1 times 12. It is equal to 12. 3 times 4 or 4 times 3 is equal to 12 also. 6 and 2 is also equal to 12 when you multiply. Other than positive numbers, we can also multiply two negative numbers four, as well as negative 3 and negative 4 and negative 6 and negative 2. When you multiply all the two negative numbers here, we will obtain positive answer. Therefore, we will consider the factors here as the factor of 12. Next, let us have negative 15. Since you are dealing with negative numbers, so meaning you need to multiply two numbers with different signs. So one is positive and the other one is negative. So let us have, yes, negative 1 times 15 is equal to negative 15. Yes, negative 3 and 5 is equal to negative 15 after multiplying. But other than that, we can also have positive 1 times negative 15. It is still equal to negative 15. Next, it can be three, positive 3 times negative 5 is still equal to negative 15. Therefore, the factors of negative 15 are negative 1, positive 15, negative 3, positive 5, Positive 1, negative 15, and positive 3, and negative. Next, negative 21. Since this one is negative, we will also consider uh, positive times negative numbers. So we have negative 1 times positive 21, negative 3 times se positive 7, positive 1 times negative 21, and Positive 3 times negative as number. Positive 31. Yes, it can be positive 1 and positive 31. Meron pa? Yes. Negative 1 and negative 31. When you multiply these two negative numbers, the answer will be 31. 31 is a prime number. Uh, its factor will only be the positive and negative 1 or positive negative 31. So, this activity has something to do with our lesson for today. Finding the factors of a given quadratic equation. So, kung kanina pinigay lang natin ang factors ng integer, this time we will get the solution of the equation x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. First, dapat nakasulat siya sa standard form. So, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So, ano na pong gagawin namin, ma'am? So, ang gagawin nyo na po, hanapin nyo na yung factors na x squared minus 7x plus 12. So, first thing first, let us get First, the quadratic term. So, what is the factors of x squared? Yes, it can be x times x. Wala naman ang iba. x times x is equal to x squared. 
So, since wala namang value si A dito, so wala tayong ilalagay na ibang value. Yan, alam yun. Kasi ililista po natin ang mga factors ni positive 12. So, ano-ano yung mga factors ni positive 12? Meron tayo positive 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, negative 1 times negative 12, negative 2 times negative 6, negative 3 times negative 4. So, lahat po na nandito ay factors ni positive 12. Next condition, kailangan daw ang sum niya ay equal kay negative 7. So, para malaman natin, isa-isahin natin yung sum. 1 plus 12 is equal to 13. 2 plus 6 is equal to, yes, 8. 3 plus 4 is equal to, okay, 7. Negative 1 plus negative 12 is equal to, yes, negative 13. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is equal to, yes, negative 8. And the last one, negative 3 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 7. Let us go back with what we are looking for. We are looking for the sum which is equal to negative 7. And since the last factor gives us the correct answer, we will now consider negative 3 and negative 4 as the other pair in our factors. Now, we have quantity x minus 3 times quantity x minus 4. Now, now, let us now apply the zero product property. Ano nga ba yung sinabi kanina? Si A daw, eto si A. Okay. And B, A times B equal to 0. Okay. So, meron tayong, tayong quantity x minus 3 times quantity x minus 4. Dapat daw equal ka. Next. Therefore, we have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Transpose natin sa kabilang side or apply the addition property of equality. We have x is equal to 3. Yan na yun. That is the value of our x. Next, this one, x minus 4 is equal to 0. Say, applying addition property of equality, we have x is equal to 4. Therefore, the solutions are positive 3 and 4. Silang dalawa na. So, to check, we got the correct solution. Let us get the original equation. So, by substituting the value that we obtained. So, meron tayong positive 3 at saka positive 4. So, ano nang gagawin natin? Let us substitute positive 3 to the excess that we have in our equation. So, instead of putting x there, we will replace it by 3. So, we have 3 squared. Kapalit niyan. 7 3, kapalit ni x, and plus 12. So, let us evaluate this equation. We will have, yes, 9 minus 21 plus 12 is equal to 0. 9 minus 21 is equal to, yes, negative 12. Plus 12, dapat daw equal kay 0. Negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. Therefore, our solution 3 is correct. Let us now have x is equal to 4. Same as what we did here, we will just substitute a 4 to our x in the original equation. So, we have 4 squared minus 7 times 4 plus 12 is equal to 0. After evaluating this equation, we will have, yes, 16 minus 28 plus 12. It should be equal to 0. 16 minus 28 is equal to, yes, negative 12. Plus 12 is equal dapat kay 0. And that is correct too. 0 is equal to 0. Since four, positive 4 is true to our equation, then we will now say that positive 3 and positive 4 are the solutions of x squared minus 7 plus 12 is equal to 0. Next, ex example number 2. Solve the equation x squared plus 6x is equal to 7. Again, we need to get the standard form of that. If you watch our first video about illustrating quadratic equations, nasabi ko na po iyan. 
equality using addition property of equality or simply transposing 7 to the other side, we will obtain x squared plus 6x minus 7 is equal to 0. Ayan na siya. Ipat lang siya sa kabila or ginamitan lang natin siya ng addition property of equality. This will be our standard form. Same as what we did in our first example, we need to get the factor of x squared plus 6x minus 7. So, anong gagawin ang gagawin? Let us, let us find first the factors of x squared. So, since wala namang iba na, lagay na natin yung x times x dyan. Since that is equal to x squared. Next, let us find the factors of negative 7 in which the sum should be equal to positive 6. Factors of negative 7 are 1 times negative 7, negative 1 times 7. Meron pa ba? Wala na. Yan na po yung factors ni negative 7. So, next, next thing to do is to find the sum of two factors. So, the sum of the first one is negative 6 and negative 1 plus 7 is equal to positive 6. Since we are looking for positive 6, then we will consider negative 1 and 7 as a pair na ilalagay po natin dito sa ating set. So, x minus 1 and x plus 7. Now, apply the zero product property. It states that this one and the other one should be equal to 0. So, so using x minus 1 is equal to 0, we can say that our x is equal to positive 1. Simply use a different property of equality to transpose negative 1 to the other side. So we have x is equal to 1. Now let x plus 7 is equal to 0. Same thing, we will now use addition property or transposing positive 7 to the other side. We will obtain x is equal to negative 7. Therefore, the solutions of x squared plus 6x is equal to 7 are 1 and negative 7. So, to check whether we got the correct answer, we need to do the checking using the original equation, of course. So, we will substitute the value of x here to the original equation. So, instead of using x there, we will replace it by 1 and negative 7. So, our new equation will be 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 7. Evaluate this equation, we will have 1 plus 6 is equal to 7, which is true. 7 is equal to 7. Therefore, positive 1 is solution of this equation. Let us try negative 7. Replace x by negative 7. We will have okay, quantity of uh, negative 7 square plus 6 times negative 7 is equal to 7. Evaluating this equation, we will obtain positive 49 minus 42 is equal to 7. And 49 minus 42 is 7. Therefore, it is also equal to 7. Therefore, negative 7 is also a solution of this equation. Let us have example number 3. Solve the equation in use addition property of equality so that we will have the standard form. So, this part should be equal to 0. So, you will have x squared plus x x minus 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. Our standard form will be x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to 0. Next, let us now find the factors of that expression. x squared plus x minus 12. So, anong gagawin? Unahin natin yan. x times x kasi x squared lang naman yan. Let us find the factors of negative 12 in which the sum should be equal to 1. Okay, so in this case, hahanap na lang ako ng factors kung saan ang sum niya ay equal to 1. Para hindi na ako maglagay ng napakaraming factors. Well, so, meron tayo 4 times 
negative 3. O kaya, negative 4 times 3. Yan, dalawa na lang yan. Kasi kapag sama mo silang dalawa, one naman yung magiging sagot niyan. Kaya lang, in this case, looking for the positive sum. So, let us find the sum. 4 plus negative 3 is equal to, aha, uh -huh, and negative 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. So, since we are looking for positive sum, we will get positive 4 and negative 3. So, lalagay na natin yan dito. Positive 4 and negative 3. Applying zero product property, we will have, have this factor is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 4 is equal to 0. And x is equal to negative 4. Next one. x minus 3 is equal to, to 0. Therefore, x is equal to positive 3. Therefore, the solutions are negative 4 and positive 3. To check whether we got the correct answer, you may do your own checking. Okay, next. Let us have sample number 4. 3x squared is equal to 2x. And the standard form of this one or simply uh, transpose 2x to the other side. So we have the standard form 3x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. Ma, hindi siya complete. So okay lang po na hindi complete. May makukuha pa rin tayong factors dyan. So paano po? Maku ba yung common sa dalawa? Yes, pareho silang my x. So, that one would be our first factor. And the other pair would be, use the distributive property, we will obtain x squared minus 2x. Pareho lang. Let us now apply the zero product property in which these two factors should be equal to zero. Okay. So, in the first one, we have x is equal to zero. Since x is equal to zero, na tayo. Yan ay yung sagot. Let us have the other one. 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. Isolate 3x from negative 2. So, magiging 3x is equal to 2. Isolate again x. Paano po? By dividing both sides by positive 3. Para maging 1 na lang po ito. Therefore, our x will be equal to two-thirds. Yan na po yung sagot. Okay? So, to check whether we got the correct answer, you may do your own checking also. Our solutions are zero and two-thirds for 3x squared is equal to 2x. Okay. So, in this tutorial, we find the factors of the given expression. We get the solutions of quadratic equation and apply zero product property in getting that solution. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. See you again in my next video. 